Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, <clears throat> and double honors unto the apostles and elders, a great millstone. And honors to you brothers out there on the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And uh, Shalom to you brothers out there that's listening and learning and supporting the ministry and to the sisters as well. And, um, you know, I just want to speak on the World Cup, which is, you know, a major um, source of entertainment right now. Uh, sport, you know, playing. And um, war is also a form of play. And um, what the Most High is going to do is he going to shut down all these other forms of play. These entertainments, this mirth, he going to shut it down. And the only form of play that's going to be happening out there is going to be gunplay and swordplay. <laughs> All right. Now, let's let's go back to um, 2 Samuel 2 and 14. It says, And Abner said to Joab, Let the young men now arise and play before us. And Joab said, Let them arise. Now, let's go into this word play. All right. So you see the word there is uh, sahak. Right, which means to laugh, play, mock, to laugh, usually in contempt or derision, to sport, all right, to play, to make sport, to jest, to play, including instrument, music, singing, dancing, to laugh mockingly. All right, now it means also to make merry, rejoice. Now, you know, a lot of that is going on right now, man. Whether you're talking about the NBA or the, 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 the um, Super Bowl, the World Cup, Champions League, you know, uh, um, you know, all these major concerts that happen, you know, party in the park, Glastonbury, I mean, the list goes on. It's just uh, this, this, um, this world is a non-stop party going on, you know, plays and musicals and 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 whatnot. Which, you know, if you go see a play or a musical, or that don't make you wicked. But we know that in this world, man, there's, there's just, it's non-stop. All right? But guess what? It's all going to come to a stop. <laughs> all of it. Every single last form of entertainment and mirth is going to come to an end. All right? These, um, these entertainers, these sports stars, they're going to they're gonna be out of a job. Because ain't nobody going to be able to go see them or desire to go. They're going to be desiring to save their life. They're not going to be concerned about no football. Now, when you go down to the second definition down here in the Genesis, Genesis uh, lexicon, it says to play, to sport as children, as marine animals. Psalms 104, 26. Compare Job uh, 40, 20 and 29. Also used of the play of arms. And skirmishes, Second Samuel is two and fourteen, and that's the type of playing <laughs> that's gonna dominate the earth uh, uh, in in the time to come, and it's the will of Yahweh Hashem to, to for the, for the judgment of the people. All right, the World Cup. Right now, you got these different teams. In fact, I didn't even show you that because in the scripture in Second Samuel, they actually form teams. It says, which the word team goes back to race. All right. If you understand what the word team is, the word team is a race. All right. It goes back to family. Go search it in the etymology. Second Samuel 2 and 15. Then there arose and went over by number 12 Benjamin, which is a team. They were of the same nature, which pertained to Ishbosheth, the son of Saul, and 12 of the servants of David. All right, these were Judites. All right, so there was 12 on 12, two teams. <laughs> All right, hey, get, but guess what, man? The, the Lord is going to set up the ultimate sport, blood sport, and it's for the judgment of the nations. Let's get Isaiah, the 34th chapter, man. This World War Three, Isaiah 34 and 1. It says, Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out 
and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountain shall be melted with their blood and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll that's that nuclear explosion and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine and as a fallen fig from the fig tree so the lord's going to set up a, 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 a war right great tribulation great judgment man world world war it's how like you got the world cup and these people are kicking bulls where well, there's going to be a, a third world war and they're going to be they're going to be uh, shooting all right <laughs> but they ain't going to be shooting no bulls man they're going to be shooting off bullets and missiles and all sorts of uh, ammunitions all right and it's going to cause great death pursuing to uh, uh second nature the, the the 16th chapter all right and a lot of these footballers and these entertainers they're going to be drafted man and they're going to have to go to war just like how it ain't nothing new when you go back before when nations have had certain drafts you had certain musicians and so forth that would be drafted in to go to war certain uh, um, athletes that would be drafted to go to war and the same thing's going to happen this time a lot of these nba and these footballers they're going to be drafted man and they're going to be given a gun and they're going to have to go play play the blood sport and they're going to die in them wars all right because all this mirth is going to come to an end man see these these people uh, uh, they got jobs for now but <laughs> Hey, let me show you something, man. Uh, let's get straight to the point. Isaiah 24 and 7. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. So there's going to come a time when everyone that's rejoicing is going to be in mourning. Because what? Because the the the, the whole earth is going to be in, in desolation, all right? in derision, in chaos, in confusion. All right, they ain't gonna know. They 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 don't ain't gonna know when their next meal is coming from. They don't ain't gonna know whether they're gonna live to see tomorrow. You know, they don't know whether the the close family members is alive or dead. It's gonna get real terrible out here. Everyone's gonna be mourning the loss of a love of loved ones, many loved ones. Okay, it says um the mirth of tabrets ceaseth. Yeah, the the the, the music, all that's gonna come to an end. Yeah, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceases. So all the fun and the games and the, and the, 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 all these musicians are going to be out of a job. What are they going to do? You think in the middle of martial law and, 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 and World War Three, Jay-Z going to hold a concert? Are you, are you crazy? <laughs> you think, think people are going to be, going to be concerned with, with music? They're going to be concerned with trying to deliver themselves from wrath. It says, they shall not drink wine with a song. So you see like how, what do people do now? They go out, they have a few drinks, they listen to music, they dance. That's that's going to be, all these clubs are going to be, show, you think people are going to be clubbing in the middle of World War Three? They're going to be going out to the club raving. Is that what you think? <laughs> no, that's all going to be shut down. All right. That's going to end as the prophecy said, they shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Meaning people are going to be drinking liquor to try and, you know, ease the pain and the suffering. But, the, the, you know, when you've just lost your whole family, man, how much liquor can you drink? The, it's going to be better to them that drink it. <laughs> the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. <laughs> people want that mirth back, but it ain't going to come back. All joy is all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone, <laughs> and that's beginning with America, onto all these different cities and nations across the world. All right, and that time is coming. It's fast approaching. The, the Daniel's uh, let's, let's get that Daniel's the twelfth chapter, the time of great tribulation. Daniel's twelve and one, and at that time, and at that time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, okay? And that's the time we're entering into, World War III. And, and everything that's going to come with it, economic collapse, race war, uh, a martial law, uh, you know, st famine, the, the list goes on, 
all right such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time so this you think in the midst of all that tribulation people are going to be buying tickets to be to see beyonce sing <laughs> listen man all that's going to be done away for you think they're going to still be playing nba games every every two days you think espn is going to be going to have live games for you to watch <laughs> And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And that's talking about the elect. All right. The scriptures always speak about that elect that would be delivered the, the, through the full knowledge of the Lord. So, you know, you know, all this World Cup and all that. Is, yeah, you, you know, you might watch it for a little bit, get entertained. But you have to always understand that. Look, man, all that entertainment is going to come to an end. So. If you ain't got this truth and you ain't firm in your faith, man, that's really what you should be, you should be um, spending your time doing. Especially if you you knew in this truth, man, and you you ain't got it down pack like that, then you really need to, you know, be spending less time being entertained and more time studying. Now, that's not to say you're gonna spend a hundred percent of your time just, you know, you have to balance yourself, but you gotta give priority to what's what 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 is um. La everlasting which is Yahweh Shai which is this word which is this faith man because you put you, you invest too much time into this mirth this mirth is going to cease and and all this mirthing that these people are doing right now ain't going to help them in that day trust me it's going to be forgotten in that day all these these guys win the world cup and or win win the NBA championship and it's like the happiest day of their life and they feel like they're going to be happy forever you wait till all hell breaks loose. They're going to forget about them Super Bowl rings and who won the World Cup. That's all going to be something in the past, man. That's going to be like, who cares? I'm just trying to live, man. <laughs> My whole family just died. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? All that stuff is going to become exactly what it is. It's vanity. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.